Hello, hello everybody. It's Laurie from Cook Scrap Craft and I am back to show you. Um, I know you've already seen my January 2022 haul, but this is my Christmas scrapbook haul. So things that I got for Christmas or, you know, treated myself to for Christmas. So first of all, I asked for a few things from scrapbook.com and I got them. Um, this is a six by eight album, the scrapbook.com brand. And I love this because it's gonna be perfect for my December daily. Uh, it does not come with any page protectors. Let's see if I can actually tear this open just so we can feel it. It's kind of leathery. I'm sure it's like a faux leather, um, but it's got these really pretty gold dots on it. And obviously you've seen some of my December daily process videos and you know I'm doing six by eight page protectors which are also scrapbook.com brand. So these are gonna fit nicely inside here. It's a really nice D-ring um, album, lots of space for adding lots of stuff. I think this might be my go-to um, December daily uh, you know, size and style from now on, just because I like how everything is contained um, and you can get really pretty, really pretty finishes in this. So I got that. Also from scrapbook.com, well, this, is, this stuff's gonna make sense. It's for an upcoming process video. That's going to be part of my scrapbook, scrapbook and cards today inspiration series. But I will just show it all to you right now. And then you can subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on when that process video goes live. All right, so we get some page oven stuff. Bungalow Lane paper. This is number eight. I really like the um, squares. It's really like triangles. Squares are lots of different shapes here. Is it squares? Is it triangles? What do you see? And then on the other side, sort of like a nice um, ombre yellow, like wheat kind of fallish looking thing. Uh, Paige Evans, Bungalow Lane, number 23. Really nice cut aparts. I've used this paper before, um, but it's always nice to have it again, to use it in a different way. Number 20, Bungalow Lane has all these cute uh, two by two squares. So you could use them as cut aparts, do your own like quilting, make your own chevrons, whatever. I really like the stars on the back of this though. A kind of an ombre, uh, light pink into a red. Uh, Bungalow Lane number nine, I think I've used this one before too with the big leaves and then it's got the hearts. Kind of a similar like stitching look to the stars and the hearts going on here. Number 19, some pretty flowers, red, white, blue, pink, brown. And then this, this cool pattern. I might've used this one before too. I don't remember. And I definitely have used this one before. Number five, um, I think I used this with Chamel. She cut it in half, um, but it'll be nice to use it again in a different way. And again, click subscribe so you don't miss out on what that process video is. If you haven't, click subscribe already. So I also got some of these Simple Stories Color Vibe Alpha stickers. Um, it's huge. There are a lot in here. Let me see if I can cut this open just to flip through it real quick. Um, the Color Vibe, they have a lot of different um, Color Vibe packs. So this one is bold. Um, it's got some really pretty fall type Alpha stickers in here. These are like paper Alphas. Um, so I hope that they're sturdy. I was kind of hoping they would be more plasticky, I guess, but they're paper, but really pretty colors and lots of different, um, well, really pretty colors to choose from. Lots of different pretty colors. Um, I also got the Paige Evans um, cluster pieces, Bungalow Lane. So there are 50 pieces in here. They're all sort of flowers, leaves, butterflies, and you can cluster them as shown in this little sticker here, which is something I love to do. I think I had some other um, Bungalow Lane embellishments from a Chamel kit, and I probably still have some of those. Um, so I'll, I look forward to putting those all together. And then I also got, these are not from scrapbook.com, but they were recommended by scrapbook.com. It's a website called Your Next Stamp. Super cute adhesive enamel dots. This, oh, I don't remember what style these are, but aren't they cool? They have so many different enamel dots and I feel like they're all sort of Disney um, name themed. This one might've been like sugar or something. I don't know. You just have to go to their website and check them out. So I actually ended up getting two packs of these. So that's great. Um, what else came in? Scrapbook.com, little postcard, a scrapbook.com gift guide, sure. And then a freebie. This cutting dies Christmas tree. So this is what it looks like. Everything is paper pieced. This is really, really cool. I have a feeling uh, if I keep it, it will sit around and not get used. So I might have to start putting together like a giveaway package. Just saying, I know I've been talking about it a lot with all the, all the, the new subscribers that I keep getting, but maybe in 2022 it will actually happen. So then I also went shopping while I was on vacation and I found a um, scrapbook store in downtown St. Charles in Missouri called the paper, the paper, paper crate, I think it was called. 
I had um, a business card for it and I don't have it near me. Um, but it had like some scrapbooking stuff. It was really great more for card making, I think, but it did have scrapbook paper um, and some really cool stuff. So I picked up some Nouveau Crystal Drops. This color is Calming Aqua. And I picked this color up along with some really cool uh, sparklets sequins embellishments look at that there's some little crowns in there there's some aqua beads little flowers and different um like see-through gold colors super duper cute and this was only $2.99 pack this is the princess dreams pack so I liked this with this and I don't ha I'm I need more Nuvo. I only have a few bottles of Nuvo. And then I picked up the Echo Park Teen Spirit Collection because it comes with a big 12 by 12 sticker sheet. You've got some cut aparts in here as well as the different pattern papers. This is the sticker sheet, but it's got like some of that, that aqua in there as well. And then I thought these, maybe I'll do like a shaker pocket or something, um, or, you know, just use sequins, how I usually use sequins for this. I, I thought it was very kind of nice and like general for um, scrapbooking photos of my daughter going forward into 2022 and finishing up 2021. So that was what I got for Christmas in scrapbook, scrapbook wise. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite crafty purchase or crafty gift was this holiday season. And thanks so much for stopping by to watch this video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.